We have to do insemination with washed semen sample. This has to be remembered. We cannot use raw semen sample to do insemination because that would lead to a lot of complications. Now what does mean, what do you mean by washing of the semen? Semen is a body liquid, it's a body fluid. It contains plasma, it contains dead cells, it contains other white blood cells and other cells as well and it also contains live sperms. We have to make sure that we take out the healthy live sperms from the semen, keep everything else and then wash the semen from all toxicities and then suspend it in a media containing nutritional elements and use only those sperms suspended in the media to be pushed inside the lady's womb. So there is an entire process of separating the healthy sperms and suspending them in a nutrition rich media is known as washing of semen sample. At one level IUI helps in some patients with a suboptimal semen parameters. At another level, IUI is not the best solution for poor sperm count. We have to understand that IUI helps in some cases of male factor infertility where the quality is alright, it is just that the count is a little lesser than normal. But in most cases in Maine, what happens is if the quality is compromised and the count is compromised, maybe an IUI also will not work for them and they might have to go for higher forms of treatment such as IVF or ICSI which we will discuss later. For an IUI, we would say that a count of more than 5 million motile sperms has to be there for us to get a good result. IUI stands for intrauterine insemination where we put the man's sperms into the lady's womb. Now before doing that, we have to of course collect the semen and prepare it and then push it back to the lady's womb. The best method of collecting the semen is to call him to the doctor's chamber or to the IUI clinic. There is a special collection room where it can be collected. There are certain techniques that you have to follow. It's there in all the clinics how to do it. The semen sample is collected in a nice container in a sterile sort of a way. It is then cleaned up, all the toxic material is removed. This is known as washing and after washing the semen is put inside the lady's womb. Ideally from the point of collection to insemination, it should not exceed more than 2 hours. By the process of washing, what we are doing is we are separating the healthy sperms from the seminal plasma. Now you have to remember when the man ejaculates, what he gives out is the semen and the semen contains the plasma, some toxic material and the live sperms. What we have to do is to remove the healthy sperms from this plasma, suspend it in a nutritional media and then push it into the lady's womb. Once the sperms have been taken out from the plasma, they don't survive for long, they don't survive for more than 3-4 hours. So then it becomes critical to use these sperms to put it inside the womb as soon as possible after they have been washed. I would put it at 2 hours maximum after washing for us to inseminate the lady to get the best results.